this house is big. It's dark. <laughs> this is gonna be a wild ride. This is me and my family. We live a relatively normal life. Two kids, two jobs, a dog, and a house. This is me on my last day of work as a manufacturing engineer. My last day was exciting and terrifying. Two weeks later, we got the keys to our next major project, a house in need of major renovation. The day that I carried Jessica over the threshold started my new job. Now I look like this. And this is how Jessica and I spend many of our evenings and weekends. This is this old family home. So this week was awesome. I got the, the kids took their first bath in their new bathtub last night. It was awesome, so satisfying. And I took a shower in there. Ooh, oh yeah, it's great. It is nowhere near done, but the tub is functional, the shower is functional and very satisfying. But I should start with the fact that our old house, the house that we live in, slash used to live in, slash lived in there a couple days ago, is bed bug free. We had an Airbnb guest one, one week ago, last weekend, and they, the guy woke up, he slept in our bed, and he woke up with four welts on his butt. And these welts were way bigger than what you would get from a bed bug, so I wasn't actually concerned. But we did call Airbnb. They said that we needed to have an audit for bed bugs, and like someone comes out, and a professional comes out to the house and does an assessment, and we actually got that done that day, and we are bed bug free. We did refund half of the, it was a two night stay, we refunded one of the nights. And they were, the guest from last weekend was, they acted very stressed out, it stressed us out. Jessica couldn't stop thinking about bed bugs in our bed and how frustrating that would be if someone brought them to our house. But we are now bed bug free, so life is good. All right, but back to the new house. Yeah, the, we took a bath and check out the video from this week. Do you think I did a good job on the bathtub? No. No? Hey, Jessica's, Jessica's out for a run. The kids are sleeping, so I get to talk to the camera. All right, I'm starting this vlog for a couple different reasons. One is to share the trials and tribulations of going through a house rehab while you're living in it. Uh, I'm looking to make some friends along the way, I would, I would hope. I, I, I also want to inspire people to do something similar to this if it so suits their fancy. I'm not an expert at all in all the home improvement work that I'm doing, but I'm more than willing to make the mistakes and hopefully other people don't have to make them as much, make as many mistakes as I do, as I did, am. This house is big. It's dark. <laughs> this is gonna be a wild ride. We're coming up to the third floor. This is the construction zone right now. And this is, there's two bedrooms up here on the third floor. There's where our two kids are gonna sleep. And split between them is, is the Jack and Jill bathroom. This is gonna be glorious one day. Why are we rehabbing a house while living in it? I don't know. Maybe because we're cheap? We're not willing to pay full price? 
I also, I love the rehab process. A neighbor stopped me the other day in the alley while I was dumping demolition debris into the trash. And he said, how's it going? I said, it's awesome. And then they, he and another guy just looked at me funny. I was like, you know, it's super frustrating and very slow moving, but it's great because I want to have fun doing what I have to do 80% of my time. When I know that I have to go to work in the morning, I want to jump out of bed. I want to have fun at work. And that's, that is what's happening right now. I wouldn't say I jump out of bed, but I get up early and I look forward to going to work. Now going to work take, it looks radically different than it did 60 days ago, but that is awesome. It's such a huge improvement. Don't forget to hit subscribe and follow us on Instagram to get updates throughout the week.